church won't condone demonic practices such as homosexuality. Those are not my words, but that of the moderator of the Presbyterian Church of Ghana. We will get an explanation shortly. Joy News' expose on the predicament of remand prisoners continues to get reactions from top official uh, gov top government officials, rather, Interior Minister Mark Woyongo is all for making some drug-related offenses available to help decongest the prisons. That sounds good if you ask me. We will be getting interactive after the break. My name is Ifwa Bahers. <laughs> of the show. Let's get into it. Now the Presbyterian Church USA has decided to recognize same-sex marriage. That may come as a pleasant surprise for many gay Presbyterians, but don't count on that happening in Ghana because the church here has denounced the church in the United States. In fact, the moderator, Reverend Professor Emmanuel Mate, has described the practice as demonic and does not intend to have any future relationship with the USA branch. The Church of Ghana is, is uh, independent. It's independent. Mm. Okay. We are not controlled uh, by... Uh, any other Presbyterian church in any country. What they have done should be condemned. Homosexuality is a satanic agenda and they have infiltrated the church. You know, mm. and they are, because they are powerful, you know, uh, they are dictating uh, what should happen in the church. But someone who knows his Lord who knows Christ and stands firm in his faith will not give in to homosexuality. That was an interview my colleague Nia Krofi Smart Abe had with the moderator of the Presbyterian Church. But isn't the church the place where sinners are reformed? Shouldn't the church embrace homosexuals and order to put them on the right path. That is what we have been asking. No, it's not allowed in church because uh, this is what's really actually happened in uh, Sodom and Gomorrah that uh, God caused uh, fire upon them that destroyed the whole land. So if we are saying we should allow them due to one thing or the other, it's really bad. We are looking for, we are inviting the judgment of God upon this land. We should allow them to church because I know, what I know to me is, the church, as I know, is like a refuge jam. We people, all, all, like we the people that come to church, we are all not perfect. We are all, we all come to just transform our lives. So if we just separate the gay people from church, it's not right. They are supposed to come to church and transform their life. All depend on we, the people who are going to put them to church. We just know how to handle them so that they will also, we, instead of we changing them, they should, they should rather change us to just for like, be part of the, that gay thing. No, 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 it's abomination. It's not good to be allowed in church. Because when, when you read the Bible, there's a, a, what do you call it? It's a, a town in the Bible or a country in the Bible. I don't know how to describe it. Uh, Sodom and Gomorrah. They did the same thing and they were destroyed by fire. God destroyed them because it's no good thing to do in a church or in a house of God. Gay people should be allowed into churches because as the Bible said, my house is a house for all. So everyone is welcome. So be it gay, lesbianism, they should all be allowed to the church. We shouldn't allow such things to happen. Even as in Africa, we have our culture, we have a root. We shouldn't allow such things to come into the church. It's an abomination, even in the Bible. You must uh, make this thing. You must get them, then you change them. Everything is for prayers. Yeah, so after the prayers, then they will change. If you think they will change, then I think the church can, in one way or the other, try to uh, you know, motivate or give them the right way out. Because some of you, some of you go through those sort of because of economic hardship because I have 
I know of some people who went into that habit because of economic hardship. Your views from the streets, and we shared the story on Facebook from myjoyonline.com, and it's on our Facebook page for its as Joy News on TV. We asked the same question shouldn't the church embrace homosexuals in order to reform them and baba musa tamale says the moderator of the presbyterian church of ghana must go beyond this mere lamentation i am sure if it were about doing so he would have said he can use four months to fix it can he fix this gay marriage by the u.s presbyterian church Jerry Harry Lawson Bakuri says big no because the church can also reform its members not necessarily endorsing homosexualism homosexuality so I advise the leadership of the church to still hold on to their decision John Sinde Kusi says avoid satanic demonic devilish and evil influence from Presbyterian Church of USA to its membership in Africa may God smith God's mercy on the church, okay? Uh, Justice Brock says, he has done what is supposed to be done. Light and darkness cannot walk hand in hand. Uh, thumbs up for the church. And Baba, Baba Nawo Courage Kwabla, Kwabla says, when the pastors tend to be politicians in Ghana, I think the moderator should fix this ungodly act within four months. When the moderator has to pray, he, he, he tends to do politics. Now go take your Bible and fix this godly act within four months. Dominic Fenny says, I'm very disappointed in the USA church. Don't they have the Bible? If no, then it is better for them to look for one. Ah, Father, forgive us our trespasses. And I'll end with Nuopo, God knows, Billy's comment. Never, we don't need any church that accepts homosexuality to merge with Ghana. We don't need any demonic help from any institution. Some of us are ready to battle any church or institution that may attempt to accept homosexuality. We don't need any more curses on our beloved nation. So these are your comments coming through on social media. Let's do what's trending. Hello, trendy people. Let's take a look at what's got you talking. Ghana gas seems to be a topic of discussion today. We have Oil and Gas Ghana saying hashtag energy ministry is engaging all communities that at Ghana Gas Project is affecting to own the project and hashtag protect it as their own. Jupi Titan is very proud of the work done by Ghana Gas and the Petroleum Ministry concerning gas production, supply and accountability. More Vim at JD Mahama. IEA Ghana reports gas fields projects in Ghana to delay if oil Oil prices keep dropping. Now there's the little issue of a Ghanaian diplomatic passport in the wrong hand. F. Mandela Balmia says the wanted Russian John Mahama issued Ghanaian diplomatic passport to for 4,000 euros. I rest my case. You make sense out of that one. Then we have Paul Kalanakas, who's a fan of Joy 99.7 FM. He thinks it's strange for non Ghanaians to own Ghanaian diplomatic passports. He was born in Ghana, but says I can't get a passport. Ebenezer Nangfio, Russian on Interpol want list, obtains Ghanaian diplomatic passport. Well, that's it for What's Trending. We'll be right back with some more stories. And you're still watching Joy News Interactive with me, Ifwa Akwa Harrison. Now, light offenders on bail plus decongested prisons equals the taxpayer saving money.
it's a win-win for all, is it not? Well, the Interior Minister, Mark Woyongo, thinks so. According to him, if rape and drug offenses are made bailable, our prisons will be less crowded. I'm sure if that happens, the real convicts will have better opportunities to reform. At least, they won't have to compete with remand prisoners for food. Well, that's my opinion. We've been asking for yours. Granting bail is something uh, we should accept because uh, some people are thereby uh, being accused falsely that uh, they rape uh, such victims, which they need to definitely uh, uh, try to uh, investigate the matter very well before uh, they can definitely do the next uh, uh, judgment. You look at the congestion in prisons. And if you don't grant them bail, the more there will be staff in prison, the more there will not be any space for others. So if they grant them bail, at least the law will monitor them. We shouldn't grant them bail because they, they, they have to learn from their... Whilst they use those that have come into the issue, they, they learn from their mistake. We shouldn't allow them bail, yeah. Somebody can just be through some situation mentally, and that will compel the person to either rape or do something. Without, if the person should come back to his or her normal sense, the person will never do that, that thing. So in some cases, I just, just punish them severely, so I leave them after all the prisons are full. So if they punish them severely or probably give them prices to pay, and then they allow them to go, I think it will be better. They'll give them a sentence. There's some truth, they'll give them a yes. Uh, so maybe in the years, no, maybe before the years, no, you will change. Uh, so that time you'll be coming out. It's okay with that. Sometimes, and I would say yes, and I, I yes, Another way, I would say no. Sometimes it depends. Some of the youth or some of the people who get offended or into that drugs offend, they were pushed or they were introduced by a friend or elderly person. Or sometimes it depends the uh, situation. Yeah, the person may be in some situation which is you're supposed to do it. So they, they should grant them a bill when they see that they person have attitude that he may change in the future or in the nearby future he will change. So on Facebook we posted and said Interior Minister Mark Woyongo is proposing offenses like rape and drug possession should be bailable and not equated to offenses like murder. And we asked what you thought about it I and mean, he hopes it will decongest the prison as part of prison reforms. Dominic Mensah or Clue, yes, I think so. Raymond Newton Keku says, for rape, fine, but for drugs, it should depend on the type of drug and the quantity involved. Ayam Wag Idrisu says, no to the minister's comment. They should rather build more prisons to accommodate those involved in drug and rape cases. Jerry Harry Lawson Bakuri says, Mr. Minister, I, I believe this is not the only option. So why not consider the following? Number one, speeding up remand cases. Number two, increasing the capacity of our prisons. Number three, build more prisons. Number four, intensify education that is creating the awareness of the law and the need for one to be law abiding. Selassie so actress asks a question. How do you feel if you see someone who raped your sister to hell with the con congestions? Bright Ignat Ignatius says, no, it should not be bailable for it will be on the increase. But a lot of you agree with the interior minister. Matthew Gisavi says, for rape, no, but for drugs, yes. Newark for God knows Billy is asking, is he trying to encourage those crimes or what? Never. Evans Mensa says the interior minister, I think, has spoken well. Offenses like rape and drugs are society, societal norms and it should be a little uh, considerative, I guess that's what you're saying, in the prison yard. So those are a few of your comments coming through on social media.
Doomsaw all day, every day. Now, Doomsaw has been with us for a very long time now. Long enough to inspire some proverbs. Here are a few. So here are a couple of proverbs and funny sayings about ECG. That is, the electricity company of Ghana. Stars shine better in darkness. We know you have a star inside you. Let us help bring out the star in you. <laughs> Be Ghanaian. Buy made in Ghana goods, lanterns, candles, etc. We, the darkness specialists, are on an economy building campaign. Doom so. Patronizing darkness made in Ghana. Now this one is a warning. If your lights stay on for more than three days uninterrupted, it doesn't mean you're smarter or the one who controls the switch hasn't returned from the funeral he attended yet. We're giving you light loan, which you will definitely pay for later on. Don't worry your head over what you can't change. If no matter how hot your anger may be, it cannot cook yam, and no matter how much you weep, it cannot fill the Akosombo Dam, then cheer up, be delighted, in ECG. This one is my personal favorite. A goat's frown will not stop it from being taken to the market. A Ghanaian's frown is not enough to stop us giving our light in tots. And however kind a man is, he would never give his wife as a gift to his friends. So tell us, why do you want us to give you our light as a daily gift? Making the best out of a dark situation. Those quotes were put together by Kobna Ansa. Happy doom, so everybody. Let's now take the video of the day. Yeah, and yeah. let's take the picture of the day now. Steve joins us, but let's take the picture of the day. Yeah. So the answer to the equation is Jesus is always the answer. The score, negative five, not on this question. Hey, the teacher is wicked. Ah, but is that the answer? Is that the answer? <laughs> Jesus is always the answer. But, uh, so give him zero. Then what is the minus five? <laughs> so can you answer? What is it? S E C raised the power two times. Hey. Oh, I know the answer. What's the answer? I know this one. What? You know, I did science in sixth form, right? So what's the answer? I, my being time. You see me, Chambers, I'll give you the answer. Jesus is the answer. No, no, no. Jesus <laughs> is not the answer. <laughs> so that's how we wrap up on Joy News Interactive for my today. Name my name is Ifwa Akwa Harrison. Thank you so much for Enjoy joining us. Enjoy the rest us. of our program. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.